Hello, this is John. Uh, today you can see a fancy mic, uh, which I actually borrowed from the school. But I'm recording this about a month after the day I actually flew. Today is March 1st, uh, when at least I'm talking to this microphone. I flew this flight in probably mid-January, I would say. And this was actually my first ever first class flight. So I flew from Philadelphia to Anchorage via Alaska Airlines first class flight. Um, but I did something very interesting where I basically spent, uh, I paid for the entire flight using Amex points. And I also elected to earn American airline miles instead of Alaska airline miles for this flight. So I'll be talking about why I actually decided to go about doing this in a later section of this video, but I hope you guys enjoy my commentary and the journey and the adventures I took, um, including the overnight stay at the airport. Um, some of the lounges I hit, I hit a lot of lounges given the, the lounge access that First Class Alaska Airlines provides. And I hope you guys enjoy and please feel free to like and subscribe uh, for more content in the future. And I'll see you in the next clip. John out. <laughs> So, probably trying that clap technique where you essentially sync your audio across different devices because my GoPro's mic is not the world's greatest thing. Hmm. I wonder if I just turn it to an ASMR channel. But anyways, I have about an hour and a half to do some work before my next flight. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be the first time I'm so I'm flying to Anchorage today on a first class flight that I scored for. 300 ish dollars one way um really good deal to be honest considering the amount of mileage and flying and considering it is first class um but yeah so i'm just gonna eat and i guess you guys can enjoy a montage of me doing work and eating in the meantime peace Anyways, I've boarded the plane. Um, so I'm doing the technique where again, where I separate my audio away from my recording. So hopefully this syncs up properly. But overall, this this seat's quite nice, I would say. So just kind of poking around a little. There's like this little tray table in the middle that I'll kind of showcase in a moment. Um, the seat's really big. I'm enjoying this so far. Um, this is a unfathomable amount of leg room that I have never seen in time in my entire life. And I'm currently trying to open up this tray thing, but I don't know how to do it. So you can see it right here. I just don't know how to open this thing. It's not really pressing. But this middle thing, however, opens up quite nicely. Oop. This middle thing opens up quite nicely. So you have this little thing right here. Lots of chargers down below. And like I said, lots of legroom. And I tried to decide to choose window seats so I can see out the window throughout the entirety of the flight. And I'm in the third, so right in the back, but there's still room to lean back, which is really awesome. All right, hype, 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 hype. So yeah, as of right now, um, we have a layover in Seattle for about two hours, and then we'll be flying to Anchorage. Should be arriving there around 2 a.m. I don't know if it's local or Eastern time. Um, so TBD, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys at takeoff. Goodbye. Hello, it's John again, and you can see me fiddling around with my chair in the footage right now, but as promised, I'll be talking about why and how I actually booked this. So I realized um, in about November 2021 that I needed another 1,200 EQD to actually reach American Airlines gold status. And I'm speaking as if people understand how the EQD EQM system works. And I'm happy to speak about it in another video, but it's being replaced by loyalty points right now, so it's not too significant anymore. 
But in December 2021, I was alerted of some extremely cheap first class tickets via Alaska Airlines. And since Alaska and American are both part of one world, you can actually elect to earn reciprocal miles in each, which means that if you fly Alaska, you can elect to earn American airline miles and vice versa. Traditionally, this is a really bad thing to do, but I realized that when you fly first class in Alaska and you elect to earn American airline miles, you can actually earn 30% EQD based on the total mileage traveled. So before I explain that, you can actually、um, right now in the upcoming footage, you can see me eating my first class meal. So this is my first ever meal.、Um, the footage is really bad. So I, I'm putting an image of the food on now, and hopefully you can see how delicious this looks.、Um, the miso pork chop is absolutely flavorful. The custard at the top is beautiful as well.、Uh, really happy with the meal overall. But going back to my EQD example, this means that if you're able to find a cheap flight, On Alaska first class that flies a long distance, you can get more value, you can get more than one EQD out of every dollar you spend on, on American Airlines. So, this is really interesting, right? So, what I did was I built a spreadsheet to look at all my flight options, and you can see one key thing here for a cost of $335 US dollars one way, I would earn $1,148 EQD. Which means a ratio of about 3.43 EQD per US dollar. Traditionally, the ratio is about 0.9 EQD versus, for every US dollar on American Airlines flights. So, obviously, this is an incredible ratio relative to everything else I've seen in the past.、Um, but I'm gonna have to interrupt my explanations here because we're about to see me、um, deboard the plane. Um, and I spent a little bit more time talking about the lounges that we actually go to in Seattle.、Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll be back in another clip soon to talk about how I actually booked it. Because, in fact, I, what made this opportunity even more exciting was the fact that I actually didn't use a single dollar.、Um, I used pure points. So we'll get back to that in a sec. So now I'm at the Alaska Airlines first class lounge, and I do have to say, this is one of the prettiest lounges I've ever seen. Actually, why don't I rotate myself here to have a really cool waterfall background while I talk to you guys? So, yeah, essentially,、um, yeah, I just realized I can like step away from my microphone now, so that's actually kind of cool in many senses of things. Um, but yeah, essentially, what I'll be doing is I'm going to be camping here for about three hours. And then after that, I'm going to be hopping on my next flight to Anchorage,、um, where we'll be doing some overnight camping there because I'm cheap and I like to save money. But I also want to check out the Anchorage first class Air Amer Alaska Airlines lounge afterwards as well.、Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go get some food now, get some drinks. This is just such a beautiful lounge. Like, literally, look at this. This is literally for rich people. I'm not rich. I don't belong here. <laughs> Anyways, I'm back to explain the rest of this.、Um, like I said, I didn't use a single dollar to book this, right?、Um, I actually booked this using the Amex Travel Portal. And on there, it cost、uh, 33,500 points one way. But typically, using points to book flights via Amex Travel is very discouraged for a multitude of reasons. But since I have the Amex Business Platinum, I was also provided a 35% points rebate on top of、um, the booking. So this meant that instead of getting only a measly one cent per point, I was able to get 1.54 cents per point at baseline. Solid value. But I think it's also worth noting that since I booked this via the portal, I also earned American Airlines miles. Oh, sorry. Alaska. Oh, yeah. American Airlines miles. Since direct, point, since direct bookings on the travel portal, Actually, count as cash bookings. Specifically, I earned 5,741 miles.、Um, awesome. <laughs> Equivalent to about $70, so an additional 20% cash back. 
But this is not to also mention the double dip, so I also got an additional 5,700 uh, 700 loyalty points as well, which is incredible. Um, but also, quick pause, you can see me uh, landing right now, and I actually do this really heinous thing where I stay overnight at the airport um, because I was too cheap to buy another night at a hotel since I landed about like 2 or 3 a.m. local time. Um, so you can see me kind of tucking myself in. But hopefully everything I've said um, in terms of explaining how I did this actually makes sense. But like I said, it seems like such an incredible opportunity and I enjoyed every second of this journey. Um, so yeah, um, happy to answer any questions in the comments and hopefully you guys are inspired to do some more crazy things like how I did. So I have to re-record this because I accidentally messed up the recording first time around somehow. I think I clicked the pause button, the audio record by accident. Um, but anyways, as I was saying in my prior video, um, let me position this a little bit differently actually because so you can see more. Um, I'm in a little cubicle thing right now. Um, super nice setup. Let me quick do a quick pan. Yeah, but it, this is just, I, I, these Alaska lounges have been amazing so far. They've been just super high quality, um, very clean, very nice. And I guess it just has to do with the fact that these are first class lounges without priority pass membership access. Um, so yes, big thumbs up to this one. Um, so they, and I guess in the theme with the Seattle, uh, well, I'm in Anchorage right now, but I guess in the theme with Seattle coffee, uh, they had a latte machine and coffee machine in general. So I'm kind of excited to try maybe a decaf after. Um, here's the breakfast spread. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to eat right now and I'm pretty hungry and tired. So my plan right now is to do out of work for a few hours. Um, but then after that, I'm going to go into the city and actually try to fly my drone. Um, and then also go skiing for the first time today. Well, I'm actually going to be snowboarding because I skateboard by training. Uh, but yeah, time to get busy. And it's currently 5.18 Alaska time. And hopefully I can survive this time zone difference. Peace. Yo, I just found this new view on my camera. It's called Super View. It's like super wide. Dude, I look so long. <laughs> I guess I'll record today's clips with this view just to see how it looks like. It's also supposed to be like 2.7K, which is actually kind of cool.